go, ladies. All right, you guys, this is going to be a Senior Ladies Review, episode 7 of what, the third season? It starts off with um, Terrence checking, oh boy, talking about, say, bro, so, uh, you want to talk about this venue and this uh, event, but we don't really know. You trying to get up into that cat of Raquel, so yeah. He, I guess, is like, no go, bruh, by Felicia on this whole deal of you trying to mesh in between, you know, not indulgence, but uh, the cuts, but yeah, no go. So, Raquel is like, bro, why you, you know, she ain't like, bro, she's like, why you tripping? She go talk to Terrence, Terrence like, no, look. Oh boy is all about what was it? Um, I don't even know. Talking about something, he is not for whatever they're doing. He not for what they're doing. <laughs> and he, I was about to say fast food strip mall signs, but that's something totally different, and it's not even about what they're talking about. But the thing is, Raquel listened to uh, Terrence, and I was so happy. I was like, yay, she listened. She listened to him. She's like, look. Um, it's cool and all. I'm just have to let you know we cannot do business with you. She's like, oh, that's cool. Uh, so what about a date? And she's like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, tomorrow I might be free. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do it, sure. <laughs> so after that's done, we get to um, well, we get to that date. They go out to they go out rock climbing. She, you know, up on them rocks and it's like, why are you looking at me? If you want, to, you can just come up here and climb. And then. This fool missile rock. Hint, hint. Catch me. So she, uh, she falls out, falls out. He catches her. And then she's like, oh, um, yeah, I was just giving you a head start. So they climb up the thing. And I'm like, Grant got a body. Grant got a body. You go, Grant. Which MIB looking self, but you know. So once we get done with that, we get to April. <sighs> oh boy, it's back from a, um, his vape, whatever it was, talking to some client. I don't like him. Ooh. I forgot his name. April's Boo. That's what we're going to call him. April's One Night Stand slash I Love You slash I Don't Like You slash I Love You slash We're going to have sex in a, um, on a wall. We're going to have sex on the desk. We're going to sex. We're going to have sex in, you know, everywhere. So, yeah, that, that person that she with, I mean, well, that she's. I don't know, playing with frenemies slash y'all just need to go and be together because their relationship is getting on my nerves. But yeah, they talk and he was telling her, no, she was like, look, I got the tea on you because I found out that you didn't, you know, score whoever you're supposed to score. And he was just talking and she was like, yeah, let me see. Let me see how it is to look at your face when you didn't have your clients. And I was like, oh, all right, April. Why you, you know, why are you doing this boy like that? I don't like him, but it's just extra. They could have kept that out of there, but whatever. Do it for the fun. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the fun. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> That's how I felt about that damn situation. All right, so next we get to the Dean. Yeah, I think he from New York. NYPD Blue. I think that that's what it is, right? That dude. Because I know he was on Girlfriends, and he was Jones's uh, boyfriend or something like that. But I'm like, now why he, um, bro, why you, why you got to be bad? Why the deacon, the deacon of the church got to be bad? Why you got, why? I don't understand. I don't understand, Rima. I, just, I don't, I don't. So he's talking to Terrence, and Terrence is like, look, bro, well, this is not going to happen. I don't know what we're here for, but yeah, we gonna, I'm going to get out this car. But then Deacon was, Deacon read everybody boots. He was like, look, bro, I was with you from when you was young. You was a young entrepreneur. I saw your hustle, and I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know what it is. And uh, you, might, you might think uh, the cut is for you, but it derives from me, and I want my money. He didn't say that, but, you know, he, he was on his pinky status. Like, I don't give a... <laughs> no, that wasn't pinky. That was smoky. He said, no. <laughs> but, pinky, I need my money. With the pressing curls up in this mug. So, after that, we get to Keisha telling um, Malcolm that, 
uh, his brother is no good. That Terrence is on that again. And he playing with fire. And I don't want my friend to get burnt and all that stuff. And Keisha is for Malcolm and her boo-boo Raquel. And it's like, look, Terrence, I don't know what you're doing. But you better stop because you know I know uh, Deacon. And uh, Deacon, because he for himself. And I'm just like, all right, bro. And boo. All right, y'all. So then we get to, um, I don't know who it is. Don and, oh. <sighs> Here comes the deacon once again. I swear the deacon is in this so much. It's ridiculous. He pop in. He in and do Well, he pops in. Raquel was like, yeah, you should do this. And this is nice. And he's talking to her. Terrence walking in like, who is she talking? Terrence walks in with a random. A random. I'm just like, okay. You got, well, what, what was her name? I'm, I'm a, his Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday. And maybe a Saturday. And I'm just like, who is this hoe? Who's she? What? Was she Snow Wednesday? I mean, because it is Tuesday. But, you know, White, white Girl Wednesday? Because uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure Terrence out. Because I'm like, why he got this sideline, you know, bringing it to indulgence. And she walk in. He open the door for her. She picking out stuff. She looking at stuff. Like, girl, you know he ain't going to buy you nothing. You finna get something to eat. And he finna get what he want to get. And then he done with you. Goodbye. But, mama. I think I'm, I'm kind of hurt for Raquel at this particular moment. But later on, I ain't going to care. But yeah, so Terrence walks in. As soon as um, Raquel, I guess, is done fitting the dude, the deacon shows up. Whoop, whop, bam. And Terrence like, bro, what you doing here? He's like, yes, uh, I'm getting fitted for indulgence. Your client has wonderful taste and I like her. And so when he walks out, he was like, look, bro, you ain't got no kind of business over here. You need to bounce. And Deacon was like, uh, yeah, I do. So goodbye to you. And thank you. I'm going to get both of these. Uh, yeah, just let my, uh, let my sister know. She'll, she'll hook it up. Trust me. I'll charge it on that black platinum card. I got you. I got you. So as that's happening, he walks out. Terrence talks to uh, Raquel like, no, <laughs> you don't want his business. She's like, uh, this is not cut. I can do what I want when I want to do it. So, you know what? It's mine. And then Tim's like, oh, all right. Have at it, bro. Have at it. Walks out. After this, we get to Omar working with Felicia. And I'm just like, this chick, you should have known. As soon as you stop working for uh, Raquel, you get into Felicia. You know Felicia going to have you knee deep in everything. She's like, oh, no, honey. We don't answer emails. We do that after work. Oh, <laughs> if there was an after work, you will always be working for me. And so, Ter Terrence, so Omar just like, mm, you know, you worship us, so good luck. I don't know how this this little turn of events is going to work out. After this, we get Sean in the sideline hole, Naomi. <sighs> the person that was married to Malcolm and Terrence's uh, daddy. And we already know they was going to be bumping uglies. At first, when I saw, you know, they had the covers come up, I was like, is that Grant and Raquel? I was like, damn, Raquel, always having sex with people. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't because it reminded me of the scene when she met that dude and then did him on the elevator but nah it was it was Sean and Naomi and Naomi's like I don't know what you see in Keisha she's just not a good fit I don't like that girl not woman but I don't like that girl I don't like her husband I was like okay so she talking to him and I think she just trying to infiltrate slash you know um what is it I don't know trying to She's trying to get that, mm -mm. she's trying to get critical intel and trying to get him to like her more so he can, you know, be about the case. But he was like, yeah, this brings a new detail to um client and uh, somebody. It's like, yeah, you're not supposed to be sleeping with this hoe. But, I mean, this girl, woman, Naomi, that trick. Why? But whatever. She cute, though. The, the woman is cute, but I don't like the character at all. So, after that, we get to, um... I guess the whole little eatery place with um, Raquel and eatery place. Raquel goes see April and April is just like, look, <sighs> this boy is stressing me out. I don't think his name is David. I don't know if his name is David. But April's boo slash, I love you slash, I don't love you slash, I like you slash, we gonna have sex at the table, on a park, on a bench, on a wall, you know, that, that boy. They, she talk about him and how, look, you just need to be very specific. I have biological needs that need to be met and they're not being met. And I just don't know what to do. 
help me out. And then Raquel's like, it's okay. Crazy ass white girl. You just have to let him know what you want. You need to let him know. He need to Google this. He need to take you there. And it's about you, April. It's about you. So as this is happening, April is like, yeah, who, who are you dating again? His name is Grant. He's like, yeah, you can go out with a lot of people. And Raquel was like, bitch. And then April, April was like, well, girl, what, what, what is this wine? Is this, um... Is this Crown Royal? Girl, what's this? Hypnotic on the rocks? Uh, it's like, no, bitch, no. You called me a hoe. It was like, yeah, you slightly call Raquel a hoe, but it's kind of true because her character is, her character kind of, kind of wow. She's selling now, but she wow. She, she, I like it though. Check plus, check plus, check plus. <laughs> it's for satisfactory in this mug. <laughs> April is satisfactory. All right, so once we get done with that, we get to Omar. And this Omar and Raquel in this damn interview process. If Omar wasn't messy, shady boots up in his mug, I don't know what he was. He got to one dude. And y'all, what was up with that dog? The little dog. It comes hang out there all the time. It's just like. Like, because his tongue was hanging out. I was like, is a dog dehydrated? Like, I, I, I never seen a dog. Like, I have a dog, and my dog, his tongue is not. I'm not going to. I love dogs, but it, it just looked weird to me. It's a cute, what is it, Yorkie or something? I, I don't like little dogs, but, you know, hey, to each his own, to each his own. And I was just like, the dog was cute, but it was, the tongue hanging out was weird. But how Omar was acting to everybody, one girl, he, she was talking about, she was, uh, I forgot what she was doing. She was like, yeah, I do this and I do that. Then you hear Omar phone going, doop, doop, doop. And he just like, girl, you, this is, uh. This is a retail place. You got to be able to multitask. What were you saying, boo? What were you saying? Oh, you didn't know what you were saying? Oh, mm. all right. Next, bye, girl. Then he, he gets to one dude that looked like Poindexter. He's like, bro, what's your shoes? Like, what? what is, what What are those? What are those? And then I think the last one, he gets to this chick. And she got, I guess, like a prom dress on and stuff. She's like, yes, I used to do this for clients. And I just fashion design. He said something weird. I forgot what he said. But he threw shade boots at her like for real. I was like, ooh, Omar's stupid. And the whole time, Raquel had to kind of sit him aside like, look, you got your foot in indulgence. You got your foot in Felicia. You're going to have to get rid of us so you can go to Felicia. We're going to be okay. We know nobody can do a better job than you, Omar, but I need stability. And at the end of the day, this, this is so funny, though. She's like, I already made a decision. We have this interview, but Keisha's going to be your replacement. He was like, you will not do this to me, Keisha, out of all people. And Keisha was like, yeah, I know how to fold clothes. I was like, ooh. She tried it. She tried it. But, yeah. I thought that was that was, that was cute. So, after that, um, both April and her love again. I love, uh, you know, I like, I love, off again, boy toy. Boo, whatever. They go to Felicia. You know how Felicia is with that damn that damn eyebrow. I do not like to be made fooled of. I don't like it when people think I'm misleading and not representing my people. And who are you to lie? Let me get my bang together. To lie about Getting a client. And then for the first time, I actually like oh dude, because he stuck up for April. He was like, look, I didn't get him. You know how those Florida people are. <laughs> or maybe it was ATL. I don't know. But he was like, look, I didn't do it. But my friend April here called him and she gave him that that nice nasty. Here my boobs review, you know, my boobs uh, tease. And she got him. He's just like, oh, okay. Well, good job, April. Thank you. You better had. I don't like you guys. <laughs> Giving that, you know, crazy Felicia with the bang and the eyebrow up. I was like, you better get it, Latoya Lucky. I ain't mad at you. So after all that is said and done, Grant and Raquel goes to, um, they go play tennis. They come in, you know, scene is set up to where he think he finna get some. But Raquel like, no, boo. Well, she ain't said, but once, you know, she's talking to him and knock knock somebody's at the door terrence and this whole wednesday i don't know snow bunny white y'all have nothing against her i just i was like ugh as soon as she saw um 
Terrence, her mood changed towards Oak Boy. And that's what I think it was. She probably probably would have did him, but Terrence had messed it up. So Terrence with this chick, they come in and give him, I guess, the proofs for a cut or whatever. And she looking, and he's like, oh, you on a date? And she was like, uh, I forgot what she said. But then Grant is in the background. And, you know, they were talking. And it was this little tension between them two. I'm just like, oh, okay. Terrence, you doing too much. Single ladies, y'all doing too much. Because I'm like... I already, I gotta, I already gotta go between April and her people. I gotta go through April. I mean, not April, but Keisha and Malcolm and Terrence, and then now I got Terrence and this trick, and then Raquel. That's too much to keep up with y'all. Y'all got me like scandal. Oh lord, oh lord. <laughs> so once Terrence sees that, and then the little, this little sideline chick. Can we go eat? I was like, yeah, because that's all you will be for. It's for food and dinner, you cum bucket. But, after, you know, all that said and done, you know, she goes back and get the proofs or whatever. Talk to old boy. Old boy was like, oh, we, you know, we doing something later. And <laughs> Raquel was like, no, I have to get my beauty sleep. And then it was so cute. He was like, you don't need beauty sleep. You're already there. Like, boy, you're not getting a cutty. Come on about your business. So after that said and done, um, we get to... <clears throat> I think that uh, the Deacon Reed and Malcolm, if I didn't love this read, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I don't know if it was a read or the truth. Was it a read? Be like Monique, what? Monique, was, was, was that a read? Did I get read? But the, uh, no, the DA comes to talk to, well, it's going to be one. The DA comes to talk to um, Malcolm or his attorney or whatever, probably. And they like, look, the deal is on your tail. Look, the storm has arisen. Like, hurricane is going to come full force. The, uh, the walls of Belgium have broken up in his <laughs> Like, no, it's, it's no, you about to get in trouble. Like, indictment is in your future. It might be on the next episode. Like, that's for real. He's just like, what can we do about it? It's got to be something. It's got to be something. Look, Kish gave him that courage. Like, I ain't finna go down with this Naomi. I'm not finna go down. But once that happens, he's like, it's all right. It's all right. You know, he decides to go talk to Deacon. He talks to the Deacon. Deacon was like, look, first of all, boy, when he brought in Naomi, though, he's like, uh, first of all, you let this trick, Naomi, you know, infiltrate into your daddy's situation. So now she got part in this mess and you ain't doing your job. He's like, no, the candy shop is mine. Deacon was like, oh, no. You keep doing stuff the way you do. I'm finna bail you and your brother out. I'm finna get y'all in to my business so I can take the candy shop and you're gonna be around me. That's how it's gonna be. She's like, I don't know why you let this bitch come in between us. I'm like, look, let me let me find out Deacon got some teas that I don't know about. Let me find out. He already Deacon and he already crazy, so you you, you never know. <gasps> Malcolm might be giving up the No I'm playing. <laughs> he ain't doing that, I don't think. That would be a nice twist though. That would be not really. So once we get done with this, Felicia talking to Omar was like, look, Omar was like, sorry, I apologize. Then she do that, um, she give that, uh, Devil Rush Prada T slash, I'm not ringing on the rest. She turns around. I stopped that apologize. First of all, you're with me, so you need to be only with me. And I need this. I need you to be here. I keep. What was she with that trick? What she say? She keep ankle bracelets in her closet. And I'm like, girl, you need to stop. Y'all was extra wrong for that. But Omar, you know what you was messing with. You know you got in some some ish when you start working with Felicia. But I ain't gonna lie, I thought she's gonna fire him. But she love he love her and she love him. That's his Judy. And she's like, I don't need anybody. I don't need to pay anybody to admire me. You finna be my full time staff, so you better get your ish together. So that was done. You know, she she let him lay it down. Lay it down real nice. So after that, Malcolm comes to his brother's fence and well, I think that's the same thing. Malcolm comes back to his oh sorry, I'm going uh, 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 going back, back, forth and forth. So, you know, Malcolm comes to his brother's fence, like say bro, stay away from him. And you already know Deacon, you know, say what he said about Naomi. And then after this, at the end of this, <sighs> Terrence is looking outside the window while Grant is talking. And I'm just like, shut up. Terrence, I don't like you right now because why you should have told her the kiss was something you could have left Wednesday, Tuesday, and Thursday and could have had her all week. But, you know, whatever. 
So as this, we get to the next scene, and evidently Terrence and Dean gonna be in the office, and Naomi gonna talk to um, Naomi gonna talk to Keisha, and it's gonna be some stuff. Keisha like, look, I ain't your John with your bra straps hanging out and stuff. But all right, y'all, this is about to hit too many minutes. I'm so sorry. I'll see you guys later. Neil, so random here, and we sign.